What's up everyone, this is Shirt Talking and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we'll be running Tiger's Attack event and farming stage number 20. This event here is Global X, the enemies are pretty tough, they have too much HP and even agility. If your characters don't have high enough dexterity, they will even miss. So, first and second wave, we'll find Tigers and they are weak to Pierce, Heat and Cold. And then on the last wave, we find Byaku and it's only weak to Pierce and Cold. It drops the heat weaknesses and there are some alternatives for strategy here and i do believe that you need a very well trained squad to run stage number 20. if you don't have strong characters you're better farming lower stages but because uh this one has the better caps i'll be showing you the strategies i use it uh, i'm using verse sigmoid formation with the first one there is the latest uh, premium Zeno, Mark is no more, he is just inheriting Noble Cross from his Platinum, there is Light Needles for AoE after Noble Cross, there's a key character here, Mirsatin, she will just open with Thundra Veil and then use Squeeze on the boss, and then you can inherit Bubble Pop if you have, so that she uses that if you need 4 turns against the boss. And then there's Joe with her El Nino inherited, it's important to have El Nino or else she would not perform as well. And then you can bring two trainees. In this case, I'm bringing UDX Claudia because her Reverie Tree shot super powerful. I'm already using the new weapon, uh, but she's a trainee. You can run four turns with the first three characters, but if you want to decrease that to three, you have to bring strong trainees. But there's one intelligence and one dex position here. Okay, so these first enemies have too much HP. They have around 60,000. Well, Noble Cross. We'll knock you then, then, then we have Sorbet Flambe. This is cool. Now both Joe and Zeno will be able to use AoE forever. They have 3 BP skills, that's so good for this type of thing. Tundra Veil will be used and it's super fine, 33,000. So El Nino didn't kill, but we still have Light Needles. The good thing is that the three frontal characters have good agility and will win against these Tigers. Now there's Biako, and a good thing, Mercedes has a very powerful skill to do good damage. You can also try to use Rainbow Rangers if you want, with Zeno on the Dex position, Joe in the Love position if you want, because she does not need to do that much damage, and Intelligence position, leave your Mercedes. But then there's some mix with Turn Order, it may not work so well. See? One turn to finish this. The second strategy uses Fixed four styles for you to win. We have Joe in the top, again inheriting El Nino. Then we have Mikael, it doesn't need to be Mikael, it can be Dark or any other happier user or bow user, the new Claudia will also work. Then we have uh, Silver, she has been released for a lot of time, although if you have her, she will use Storm Roar and then Dragon Bolt. And there is also Genryu. Genryu will help with the second wave with Ice Fire Blast and then the boss with Ice Tail, Lash. The good thing about this is that they will also buff Silver Damage because she deals cold damage. And then you have one slot for a trainee here. The good thing about Genryu uh, is that we know that he will attack before everyone else in the second wave. And Mikael has delay, so he will not interfere, allowing him to do more damage against the boss. But his attack is delayed, so the boss can even kill him. Jamie also works in his place if you want. But then you have some more problems with turn order. See? <laughs> the tigers attacked before Genryu even. Genryu cannot clear this wave by himself. Only if you bring Leo. Maybe if you want to bring Leo in the love position, it's okay. See, they attack before our characters. If you bring full HP stuns, you may reduce your damage output because of that. You got pretty, pretty close on killing this in one turn. I believe that I lost the full HP stun with silver. That's why we didn't made it. But then love position should do some damage if they don't die. Time for the third strategy. This one is funny because what we have here is four news. Yes, he's pretty powerful, 
There is just one problem. I think you need to increase his agility <laughs> because his agility is pretty bad. You can even farm a little here. And uh, he does have Maelstrom. This is a very, very powerful attack. They can use it on turn two. But you have to increase Tidal Lord to 11 so that he does not use it on turn one. And he would just use a normal uh, skill with zero BP that would not affect his turn two damage. And what we also have here is the Matriarch UDX style. She would just do something different. This time we'll be using Brandish because we can use AoE two times in a row. If we use Shining Glory, we cannot do that. And then Light Streak Lounge will be used against the boss. And there is a very favorite of mine here, Urpina. She is being used in many strategies. Uh, to make her very powerful, we can inherit Crossbreak. We'll be using Holy Shiny's Word to help kill first wave and then increase some flash to five so that she uses normal attack on the second wave. Yeah, only to have Crossbreak to the boss. Even for the boss now weak to slash, it will take a lot of damage. And in the back, we have other two characters that are pretty powerful in this event, but they don't have so good cycles and they can sometimes affect turn order. That is the Call of Adventure Grey. He has a cold attack with scatter battles, I even inherited the Aksha Flash, if we take another turn, he will also attack. Minerva is also extremely powerful, but I tried to place her on the front line and it was not working so well, so she is my back line. Actually, only the three frontal units belong to the strat, the two ones in the back are trainees, you can bring any one if you want, there's no increasing damage for them, so it can be uh, the new styles as well. Okay, so now we will have Rapina going for a fast attack, and Matriarch following up. I didn't place Matriarch in the front because foreign news have a very bad agility and Maelstrom also has a uh, decreased turn order. So being on the front will allow him to attack before the Tigers. And even sometimes he'll get hit before using Maelstrom. So that was the way to fix this problem. See, at least this time he attacked before them. I can farm some agility later. Brandish will kill them. All against the boss stage, we have plenty of power. Cross break, look, the damage is pretty nice. Even with not resisted. Scattered petals will not do full damage because I'm using full HP stone. We took damage with Grey. Acupuncture will kill. But it can be other characters in the backline. Remember, the backline doesn't have increased status, so train whatever you want. With that, this is my last strategy. Thanks so much for watching. Hope it can help you. Um, if you want to support the channel, there are links in the description of the video. Hope to see you soon in the next one. Ah, the next one will be the Romancing Strategies for Romancing Fight.